Hi, this is Keith Ward with Visual Studio Magazine, and joining me now is uh, speaker Michael Washington. Michael, welcome. Thank you. Okay, so let's start by talking about uh, some of the sessions you've been presenting here at uh, VS Live this week. So I'll be speaking about Light Switch. I'll have uh, two sessions. Uh, the first session, I'm going to be talking about the new Light Switch HTML client, which is uh, meant to build mobile applications. Um, on my second session, I will be covering all the various ways to connect with Light Switch um, uh, via OData. Um, let's say you have like a Windows app or, a, or an iPhone app. You can actually connect to Light Switch, connect to the business layer. Um, so my other talk will be about that. Okay, great. So Light Switch is something that you speak on a lot and you're very familiar with. I'm not sure how, how much the broader uh, development community is uh, with Light Switch, however, so can you give us kind of a high level overview of what it is and what it's meant to do? Um, essentially, uh, Light Switch is a product of uh, Visual Studio. So uh, Visual Studio is about building the best tools, you know, the best tool to build applications. Right. Light Switch is um, at a higher level. So it allows you to um, provision the, the database, the business rules, the back end, and then also do the client. So the very first version of Light Switch used Silverlight for its front end. Uh, the current version of Light Switch, which is currently in CTP and it should be released soon, will allow you to build uh, HTML5 front ends. The back end is still the same. So it allows you to just model your entire application. You then publish the application as an ASP.NET application using SQL Server as the back end. Um, the code inside, it's still using Entity Framework. Um, WCF uh, is, is, is inside there. It's just a tool that gives you a, a more of an overview. The experience is a bit like you would have, say, with uh, Microsoft Access. Um, but unlike Access, it's not really a black box. You can, you can view, when you view the code, it's a normal Visual Studio project. So kind of think of, think of it as kind of like a template, kind of like a MVC would be a template, mm -hmm. but a lot more powerful because it has a lot more functionality. Okay, so when you say it's part of Visual Studio, just to clarify, you mean it comes with the product, you don't need to download, you don't need to install or buy Light, with light Switch separately? Right, so when you um, install Visual Studio, uh, the latest version of Visual Studio, you actually have Light Switch inside there. Um, the only difference is that the current version will only have the Silverlight um, uh, client, so if you want the HTML client, which is what I'll be talking about um, at my uh, talks here, you'll have to download the add-on CTP, and then when they finally release it, again, it'll be the add-on that you, right. you download and install. But like I said, it's just like a, um, another project, kind of like with when MVC went to MVC4, you just downloaded it, installed it, and it was there. Okay, so, so Light Switch, is this something for experienced developers to use? It has, I think, sort of the reputation of being something that's a little easier for, for non-hardcore developers to use. Is that, is that an accurate impression? Um, the Light Switch team is clearly going after, as a primary focus, um, allowing you to quickly uh, create applications. So quickly and easily is where they're going for. Um, obviously it's in Visual Studio, so if you're not a person who would open a Visual Studio, it's really not the product for you. Okay. Um, however, at the same time, you know, independent person like myself, um, I really want to be able to use it for everything I'm doing. So I spent you know, a lot of time on my website, I have about 80, um, uh, sample applications that people can download where I've been pushing it further and further and I have not hit a wall yet. So I'm So you find that the flexibility isn't compromised although it does maybe more of the plumbing for you. Right. Um, I think if you if you look at something like Entity Framework, mm -hmm. it's fast and easy, right? Just boom, drag your tables over, it works. However, we all know the Entity Framework is a very complex, you know, thing and there's all these these points where you can customize things. So um, Light switch is exactly the same thing. So that you don't have to get deep into it if you don't want to, but if you do, it can do it. Okay. So who is the who is the target developer for light switch? Is it a is it a web dev? Is it someone who's doing desktop apps? Um, or do you think it sort of uh, goes beyond those, you know, categories? Um, initially light switch when they had the Silverlight client was uh, rapid desktop applications. The, with the new HTML client, they're really going after mobile. And it's amazing because the mobile story is something that, for example, I work in education, 
um, a lot of the teachers need to get their attendance in. Currently, right now, they have to go to their desktops to put the attendance in. They all have, um, you know, the tablets and their phones. It would be, but they can't get work done on there unless I, of course, make an app. Mm -hmm. Well, with Light Switch, in about 15 minutes, I can create an application that works on all different form factors. Light Switch uses jQuery Mobile, so it automatically uh, sizes to, um, you know, if you have a small phone or a bigger tablet or even the desktop. Um, so it allows me to quickly, you know, uh, make the apps for that. Um, so that I would say that their current, you know, with the HTML client, they're really going after mobile. And they're also going after SharePoint. Also, again, because SharePoint also needs the mobile story. So I think that this year, it's really about mobile. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you find that developer awareness of light switch and what it can do is, is increasing? Yes, of course, because it's now built into Visual Studio. So if you have the latest Visual Studio, you actually have light switch. Um, I think, though, that Microsoft is looking ahead and they realize that, again, the mobile story is something that a lot of developers are not thinking about. Mm -hmm. They're starting to get into it. Um, and that as people realize, oh my God, I really don't have a mobile story, that uh, hopefully they'll realize that Light Switch does have a mobile story and that over this year, I think um, the use will pick up quite a bit. But it, it, is, a, it is a shift from mm -hmm. being primarily desktop with Silverlight to now they're making HTML5 mobile clients. So that, that is a, kind of a shift. Michael, thank you for joining us at uh, Visual Studio Live. Thank you for having me.